Uh, so connecting our Wi-Fi, now I, I used our guest network. We have an Orbi router, which has a regular network and a guest network. So no reason for this device to be on our network that has our computers on it. So all right, we're all set. Show me the weather. All right, so it's 48 degrees outside. Sounds about right. And I guess this is the <coughs> ambient weather. We want to see what the weather is on our device. So let's look at our Tempest weather. All right, so inside, yeah, 66 degrees inside. That's about right. And humidity is 30 inches of mercury. Interesting. No lightning detected. There's no wind inside. Let me try if I blow on this if something happens. Yeah, I got a little bit of wind there. 1.1 <laughs> miles per hour. Heavy rain, okay. I guess I pounded on it. Let's see. We tap on it. I don't know if that's going to do anything. All right, then it's got our brightness and uh, dew point, 49.6. So what is our humidity? Um, bulb temperature. Well, it doesn't have humidity. Looks like it would. It's got the dew point. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, so our our weather station's working, so we're gonna put it up, we're gonna go back outside and set it up. All right, I missed the humidity, it's right here. <laughs> so the 66.4 inside, the humidity is 55%, and the dew point is 50 degrees. So so if it was 50 degrees in here, it would start condensing, I guess. All right, so we're ready to install our pole. It's nice and dry, solid. It's five feet long. So we're going to um, get the screws started, and actually we'll probably screw them in before we, um, let's see, is that going to work? Yeah, okay, barely. We're going to screw this in the wall, actually I didn't get that perfectly straight, but it's close. We're going to um, put our screws into the eaves before we try to put the weather station on top so it's not quite so heavy. So then once, once we get the screws all at least part way in, and we'll take them back out, then we'll mount the weather station on top. Then we'll just be able to put it up here and just screw it in without having uh, to spend a lot of time fiddling around with making the holes. So, so we're gonna be using our awl to make the holes, to make the starting hole. Should we probably, well, we have this hammer just in case, probably can just do it by hand. Then we've got our dr drill driver. It's got two speeds, so I always put on one for driving screws. It has a clutch so you can make sure you don't over tighten things. And then it's got the screw starter, so you can put your screw on this on this magnetic tip, and then you can go like this. And then your screw, you don't have to hold on to it with your hand then, so it'll just start. Then as it as it screws in, this automatically comes back. So this is a really handy. This is by Makita, it's called a finder driver. All right, so we're going to get that set up, and we'll start working on it. All right, we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and put this up. Get up one little more layer, layer higher. That's better. Okay. So we're going to install it right here. And we're going to use a level to make sure it's level. But Gonna get the first screw in, that's a big deal. So put it about here. There's the first screw. I'm gonna use my hammer to improve that uh, hole a little bit. All right, so that, the screw should start in that pretty easily now. So, I'm going to get our drill driver, put our screw on it, put our screw starter out. So just leave a little bit sticking out. I'm going to put this up here. Put this away for a minute.
This is light, so it's not a big deal to hold this up here. So that's on there now. It's not level, so we're going to use the level. We're going to use the level to make sure it's vertical. So here. We've got our level. And we're going to get our all. Used our level to get this on here correctly. All right, so this is level now. Now we're going to use our all to uh, get the hole started. In the center, that should be good. Get this there. That's in the center. We use our hammer again. Prove that hole. All right, so those screw holes are ready to go, but we're not going to screw them in because we want to install the weather station first. So we're going to unscrew this, and then we'll put the weather station on top and put it back up and finish the other two screws off. So we just use our driver in reverse mode. So now we're going to put the weather station on here and then we'll put it up onto the pole. All right, so it's time to mount our weather station. We're going to do it on the ground here. It'll be easier. So first we put our uh, tightening nut on here. Then we put this on. Okay, and the important thing is we need to have this... Um, arrow pointing north, so we're going to orient that before we tighten it up. Let's get this screw started. Okay, so now we can still turn this. All right, so now we're going to use our compass on our phone to figure out where north is. So north is this way. So we're going to orient the top of the that arrow pointing this direction. So I've got the uh, post, the pole that comes out from the house perpendicular to the house, and then I need to orient the arrow so that it points in that direction. So, all right. So I'm using my compass. I've got this perpendicular, and you know, if it's off by one degree, it's not the end of the world, actually. But it may as well be accurate. Anything else though is you want to make sure these um, solar cells are pointed south so they get sunlight. I guess if it was in the southern hemisphere, you have to point it the other way. That's interesting. What if they have a southern hemisphere version? I don't know. All right, so this is oriented. So now we're going to tighten up this pole, this uh, nut here. Hopefully, I'll keep the rain out. Should the pole goes up into the bottom, the base here, so there's no way for, water can collect in this little groove here, but then it should just drain out the bottom, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure that's tight. Okay, it looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and attach this to the house, and we'll be off to the races. All right, it's getting kind of dark. We're going to try to finish this up before it gets dark. It's about 4:30. So I'm going to put my screw on my driver again. And then I'm going to get up a little higher. And we'll put this up. It's a little bit more top heavy now, but it's not too bad. So now it's. Um, 
This is blew those around a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it shorter. I may end up making this shorter, we'll see. It's kind of wiggle. You know what? I'm gonna cut this off at the three feet. That'll be a lot stronger. All right, we're gonna cut this off to three feet. All right, so this should be a lot more manageable. I got it at three feet. Now again, I know that it should be 10 feet. And you know, there's gonna be some impact on the wind. Accuracy of the wind measurement, because I'm too close to the roof, but in the big scheme of things, it's not a big deal. So it's still a little wiggly, but it's a lot better. I thought about ways of, of, of um, strengthening or keep it from you know wiggling around by maybe putting sand in it or something like that, but I don't know if I'm gonna bother with that. Could put a dowel in there. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna go get the other screw, then I'll finish up. All right, so it's almost dark. It's uh, about five o'clock. There's our installation. Again, it's not perfect, but I think it's going to do well for our purposes. So I've got oriented north, and you can see the solar cells on there. I'll take another, I'll do some more video tomorrow during the day when it gets hot. See how how it works. And it seems to be communicating with the base station, which is good. So we're going to take a look at the app now and see what it says. All right. So everything seems to be working. You see, it's a lot colder outside. It's about 50 degrees. Humidity is much higher because it's about ready to rain sometime pretty soon. And barometer is steady because it hasn't been out there. It's about a 1.2 mile an hour, about a one mile an hour wind or so south southwest. No rain yet and four lux. Not sure what that means exactly, but. All right, I think it's got about some graphs. So here's the graph of the temperature and the dew point. Let's look at relative humidity. All right. So you can see we took, from inside to outside, the humidity went way up. And sea level pressure slightly dropping. Should drop more tomorrow when it starts raining, I guess. And let's see. All the radiation. So this is super high when I was in the house. <laughs> now it's down almost zero, so that's not a good one. All right, so everything's working. We're going to set up a dedicated um, old iPhone to just show the temperature all the time. And uh, that'll be great. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.